Melissa called the math lady. Today we're going to be talking about how to find the volume of pyramids, cones, and spheres. Let's start out with the pyramids. So recently we worked on uh, the volume of rectangular prisms. Well, you might remember that the volume of a rectangular prism, leave our pyramid alone for now, but the rectangular prism is the area of the base times the height, right? Some people also say length times width times height. Well, it turns out that the rectangular prism and the pyramid have a relationship, that the rectangular prism is three times the size of a pyramid that has the same dimensions of the base. In real language, that just means the formula for our pyramid is one-third the area of the base times the height. It's one-third the formula of the rectangular prism. So I guess if you had a rectangular prism, you could put three pyramids inside of it. So how do we do this? Let's actually solve for it. I'm going to give you some dimensions. Let's say it was five inches, uh, the base, the length. It was three inches for the width of the base. And we need to also find the height and let's say our height was mm, six inches. Well, what would we do? Let's plug it in. Well, one third, the area of the base. Well, the area of the base is a rectangle. Area of a rectangle, length times width. Five times three is 15. And then let's times our height. Our height here is six inches. Okay, we can simplify. 3 and the 15, which makes it 5 times 6, it is 30 inches, and with volume, the label is always going to be cubed, 30 inches cubed. So as long as you can remember that rectangular prism and a pyramid have a relationship, the volume is one-third the, one the volume of that one, one-third area of the base times the height. Take a look here, we have a cone. And guess what, a cone and a cylinder have a relationship when it comes to volume. So if I drew a cylinder, it turns out that a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder with the same area and height. So let's write the, the formulas down. For a cylinder, we know it's the area of the circle, right? Because that's what we're dealing with. Oops, there we go. When it talks about a cylinder times the height, that would be your volume. Well, for your cone, it's going to be one third the area of the circle times the height. So let me give you some dimensions so we can figure it out. Uh, well, I already did. <laughs> so let's say we have a cone. Three inches is our radius and our height is seven inches. What would we do? Well, the area of a circle. Do you remember that? Area of a circle is pi radius squared. So let's rewrite what we have. Pi radius squared times our height. Our radius is three. Three squared is nine. So I'm just going to take this out and put a nine in its place. And for height, I have a seven. Let's erase this H here and put a seven in its place. Now we can reduce. 3 goes to 1, 9 goes to 3. We've got 3 times pi times 7, which is really 21 pi. All right, I've got my calculator here. We're going to use 3.14 for pi and multiply it times 21. That gives us 6594 inches. And remember, the label for volume is always cubed. So if you can remember that the cylinder and the cone have a relationship, the volume of the cone is one-third that of the cylinder that has the same dimensions as far as the circle and the radius. Finally, our last one is the volume of a sphere. This one I'm just going to give you the equation <laughs> or the formula. It is four-thirds pi radius cubed. Okay, this is the first time we've seen this one. so. Let's go ahead and fill in with our numbers. We've got four thirds. We have pi. We have radius of four. Well, radius cubed, four times four is 16. 
16 times 4 is 64. Thank goodness for calculators. We could do a little bit of, uh, nope, we actually cannot. So we're just going to go ahead and do, I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed my phone. Let's do it. We're going to multiply 4 times pi times 64 and divide all of that by 3. 4 times 3.14 times 64 divided by 3 is 267.95 centimeters. And remember, for volume, the label is always cubed. Okay, so sometimes we just have some formulas that need to be memorized. Again, with the cone and the, and the pyramid, <laughs> we know that those have a relationship to the rectangular prism, to the cylinder, the sphere. We're just going to memorize this. And again, I've got a bunch of practice problems for you in the practice set, so you can pull these formulas from your mind and see if you can do them on your own. That's it for me today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.